Hi, and welcome to Better Terra. Today, we're gonna put together this greenhouse. It is a four foot by six foot out sunny model that I purchased from Amazon. Link down below. So if you have this and you are going to put it together, watch this video because I learned some things and I'll talk about them through the assembly. If you're just thinking about getting a small greenhouse, stay tuned to the series that I'm gonna do on putting the greenhouse together, upgrading the greenhouse, and then later on, adding some automation features. Let's get to it. This is something a little bit different than what we've done on the channel before but uh, we want to move our seed starters from the inside to the outside. Right now we are uh, on April the 15th and I expect for the seed starters to be in the greenhouse for about a month. And online I didn't find any videos that were specific for this greenhouse. So whenever I get to a part that isn't self-explanatory, I'll go into a little bit more detail on the assembly. The parts that go smoothly, I'll zip through those uh, fast forward so you don't have to suffer through that. Um, I've got myself a little help today. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Hey, I was looking for those. Can I have those please? Thank you. Do you have on two pair of knee pads? Maybe. Where did you get them? I found them. In that uh, pile of junk downstairs. You mean my old army gear downstairs? Anyway, so the only thing I've done is open it up enough where I can get out the directions. There's pictures of the components, uh, the hardware, and these dinky tools that they sent. This is uh, maybe a greenhouse that could have came from Ikea. But I'm a firm believer in uh, that there's a right tool for every job. That's right. So um, not using those things, I brought out um, some tools that are definitely going to speed up the process. I don't think mankind made it this far uh, without having real tools and not something like that. Then after the assembly, we'll talk a little bit about some upgrades that I'm going to do to this greenhouse. Once set up, the greenhouse is going to be six feet by four feet with a door on the long side. Um, this corner of the patio gets the most sunlight. Right now it's uh, 540 and as you can, can see, it's getting the last sunlight of the day. So my plan is uh, to set it up here in this part of the year and then in the hotter months of the summer, move it to the other side of the patio where it gets less direct sunlight for the day. <coughs> Excuse me. Based on what I see in the instructions, I think the best start is going to be to get everything laid out and separated so I can get eyes on it. So stick with me as I uh, get this stuff unpacked. So that looks like most of the um, hard panels and this is probably going to be the framing. The pieces all are numbered with small little stickers. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's going to be helpful. I think I'll lay everything out where I can see the numbers.
And then all these panels are lettered with similar tags. I'm not going to spread those out. It's a little bit windy and I'm sure that they'll end up at the neighbor's house. So let's whip out yield instructions. Oh boy. These don't make any sense at all. Move this down a little bit. I feel like I'm probably breathing in it a lot. <laughs> Where does it start? Okay. White film faces outward. Okay, so it has a clear film and then a white, kind of opaque film. This page is showing out, show, this page is showing the layout of the panels. This page is showing the overall finished, um, finished frame. And I'll try to get some close-ups of this in B-roll. And it looks like this is where step one starts. Let me take a second and look through this and uh, gather up my parts. All right, so it says we start out with one piece of number four. Here's number four. One five A and one five B. I'm going to go get a cutter. Got the cutter, and uh, when you know it, the cutter is uh, maybe in the same part of the house as the beer. It's Friday. Okay, so we have four, five, A. I don't know which way it goes according to the picture, but I can see I've got a bent corner here. I may need a pair of pliers to straighten some of those out. So anyway, that on that side. Five B on this side. These ones are not labeled, of course. Uh, two number 32s. 32s are these edge connectors. Thirty-two and thirty-two. Okay. And then four screws. Let me see which screws. It's talking about here. It's probably these. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Okay. Let me get the tool. Yeah. 
Okay, let me turn the torque down a little bit. All right, well, let's see if we can figure out how to get these together. I'll put the uh, camera on. So for these first ones, I think a lot of the connectors are gonna be pretty much the same. Fit them together, put a screw in. All right, I guess we're recording. What I don't know is, well, I have the right angle. We will find out. Okay, so I'm gonna wing, hopefully giving you the right angle. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory, but no. See how the stair step? So that doesn't go there. Let's try number, another number 32. There we go. Like this. And then 5B, no. Oh, these are uprights. 5A. Five B. Interesting. I don't know if that's correct. <clears throat> It does look like, according to the picture, that this might go like this, like this. This part like that. Let me go ahead and put this screw in first. That's pretty obvious. I mean, that lines up pretty good. It says to put a screw in here, but <laughs> there's no place to put a screw in. Uh-huh, 5B. No, more screws. <clears throat> sure would be uh, helpful if I had a second set of hands. So I think we got that figured out. Let's bring another 32. On over this side. We already got it in there. I think it's time to put on at least one of those knee pads. All right.
I'm at a dilemma again. Where the hole that it says is supposed to be there isn't. So I'm looking here at the different number 32s. <laughs> I'm just gonna come right out and say it. These directions are shitty. Because it says a screw down and then a screw in in the same face. That's what we were able to do on that side. <laughs> and it is an impossibility on this side. The screw hole is here. Okay. I am glad that my that my generation grew up playing Tetris. None of this cell phone Tetris either. Real deal. Game Boy. Okay, so it looks like on this piece we find number 14 and 15, and then it goes um, here. Ugh. So let's see what we can find with 14 and 15. And 13, 14, 15, okay. <sighs> the directions are best effort. Okay, 14 and 15. Go with the angles facing out. Okay, that's pretty easy. It's gonna be easier to do it like this. Like that, and like that. Let me get those knee pads on. Let me get at least one of these knee pads on. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna leave these just a little bit on the loose side. Because if you can see, I didn't leave it loose enough. There's some, 
there's some play. And we might need that for sliding the panels. So I'm just going to get them close. Where they're still a little movable. Okay. All right, we're already putting in panels. We're looking for panel C. Panel C. These aren't labeled. <laughs> These aren't labeled. D. It says D on that one. And these are all the same size. So I'm going to assume those are all D. This one says C. And it says we need two of them. Here's two that are labeled C. Now, it said white, opaque, plastic out, clear in. But what it didn't say is which side's in and out. I'm going to make an assumption. The way that the brackets are facing this way, I believe that side is going to be out. Probably not the best way. Okay. Holy crap. Do not do it like this. This is why I'm doing the video. We're going to learn lessons. Don't do it how I'm doing it. I just bent it. So. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so this is C. Goes in this track. Uh, white parts facing out. This being out. Okay. That is more or less together. Let's do the same thing over here. There's a small track that it slips into. This is going to take a while. Oh my goodness. That, there we go, finally. Nobody move. If I have to move those, all bets are off. Okay, 42, four, It's missing two C panels 
two 20 panels, okay. So the, the 20 here, it's gonna come down on top. And then four screws. 20s. Let's find them. 19. 20. And four screws. And you would know it that the side that I need is on the opposite side. as it would be. Jeepers. Okay, so. This goes on the top. Like that. This fits in the groove. The screws go on the side that I can't see. But I can finger start them from the other side. I'm gonna leave the protective plastic on it for now. I hope that doesn't come back and bite me in the butt later. Okay, I'm not gonna tighten those down because surely I'll flip it over and they need to be on this side. Okay, so it's looking for panels. Two, two E panels and an F. Oh. A D panel also. This is a K panel. Here's F. These are G panels. Nope. We don't need G panels. We need this D panel. It's gonna go here in the middle. <laughs> A D and F, two E panels. They're shorter. Here's the vent. What do we got here? H. And H, no luck, I'm looking for E. B panels, slide them over there. No label. Of course, no labels and No labels. Okay. So, where are our E panels? These are H's and an I. Did we hide them under here? Aha! I know you knew they were there. Why don't you say something? 
and then e-panels like this and like <laughs> I think they got their white portion on that flip-flop but anyway goes like that so let's start put in the D panel and it needs a number 22 extrusion what's this one Twenty-four. Nineteen. Seventeen. Moving for twenty-two. We're just going to let this camera run for as long as we need to. But I'm here to tell you, this is not the easiest um, project I've ever done. And you know, I think the, I think the problem lies in the directions, mostly. Has anybody out there ever marveled over the instructions that come with a Lego set? They're all pictures and extremely intuitive. I think a lot of these companies could take some hints from Lego directions. If you're out there listening and your job is making directions, go buy a Lego set. Check out their directions. They're fantastic. I'm just finger tighten these down. Hey Nano. Nano's making his TV debut. He's our neighbor's dog. I'm doing a little dog sitting for the weekend. No, 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 get out of there. This ain't that kind of party. E. Just when I said that it wasn't easy, it's really starting to come together. This one singular wall. Okay. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. So as it turns out, we missed a few things. Namely, the camera cutting off and uh, missing the rest of this. Which is really kind of okay. I got some more on the GoPro so I can, I can fill in the gaps, but this side is going together exactly like that side, uh, minus this space, and this is where the door's gonna go. So where we're at right now, is we're finishing the top 
which is good because that's the part that got cut off on uh, the back panel. So let me go ahead and keep keep going here. Now I'll say that they should really have a sequence or a suggested sequence of assembly because like with what I'm experiencing right here was I put some pieces together. And then, you know, others are becoming a booger. Like this right here. The tolerance. is extremely close. Very close tie launches here. <laughs> yeah. It is This is tight. Let me get in there with it. <clears throat> Come on. I can get it. <clears throat> Let me get down here with it. I think this might have been a mistake. Okay, so let's put this in later because that's gonna let <laughs> this piece come together. Okay, so if you're following along on the door panel, the sequence is after you finish the main frame and you start working on the peak, add in the H panels, the 33A and B connectors, number uh, eight and nine, I think it is here. Yep, number eight and nine. Add 34 at the top. And I, I realize I'm not sure that you can see me. Sitting down here. Let me check. You can almost see me. There. <clears throat> Let's go a little wide. Oh, there we go. Here we are again. Connectors. 8 and 9, top connector, and then add in these two guys, panel I and cross support 21. And I think these are going to go together good after you drop the screws. Take side toward you, or opaque side out. Snudge it up in there, and then number twenty one.
Ooh. 21. How? Well, I think this is where the difficulties were coming the last time. Talk to me, 21. Oh, it shows the flange facing down. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa. Jeez. Okay, so I had it like this, like the rest of the panel, or the rest of the support, goes like this facing down. Okay. So this isn't exactly fitting in there snugly. There's a there's a gap here, see? So I'm getting trying to get it to slide down into the track. There is something. Something holding it. Let me see if peeling off this backing helps. I don't know what's stopping me from pulling it down. Wow. Oh, there we go. Well. Anyway, I think that's something I can fiddle faddle with later. <clears throat> so I'm losing light. It's seven o'clock. I've got the front done. And it'll set about right here. Once everything's together, roughly. And my first impressions are, if you're not comfortable with 
assembling complex things, skip this. Because this, this is not a simple project. And then, you know, like you can see here, it's not fitting together completely snug. I think I can loosen and shift and move around like I did on that one, which you probably didn't see in the video. Maybe you did. Um, and get that to fit right. If you are an extremely tall person, um, maybe this isn't the best for you. But my plan is, if I can give you a inside shot here, it's only four feet wide. So about here. I'm only going to move my transplants out here. So right now my tomatoes are about a foot tall. I'm going to have a shelf here and a shelf here just for seed starters. Um, there might be room in the floor for one uh, larger plant, um, but I don't know yet. So it's definitely not the easiest thing to get together. Um, this film is gonna cause a problem. I can already see it. I should have maybe taken it off before, but I think uh, it'll be all right in the long run. It's very light, so one of my upgrades is going to be a way to weight it down. And we'll get into that into the next video. But for right now, I'm going to stow everything for the night and we'll finish up with the sides and the roof tomorrow. All right, we're gonna get started on day two of getting the greenhouse put together. Um, have the front and the back put together. Uh, today it's gonna to be the sides and the roof with the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get underway. A little bit sunnier today. I looked at the directions a little deeper before getting started, and it seems getting the structure together is pretty straightforward, but the roof starts to get a little bit more technical if there could be such a thing. So we're gonna start off with two number ones and four screws. And then the next step is two number sixes. And those are the two top. And I think it's gonna be easier to connect the bottom and the tops together while it's laying like this. <clears throat> we'll see if I'm right or wrong very quickly. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I think I got number six. These top braces flip-flopped. Somehow.
I don't know if you can see, but it's these pieces that are backwards. So, uh, I'm in a situation. Let me see if I can brace that up like that temporarily and figure out what I'm going to do here. I got the pieces on the back wall flipped around. <clears throat> Let me look at the directions a little bit closer. to make sure it's not the pieces on the front that I have flip-flopped. Because I have a 33B here, 33B down there. If you remember from yesterday, these pieces here were a booger. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the whole and piece number six has got a square hole and then this not square hole and looking at the picture closely it looks like the square hole faces down with the flange in So both of these are correct, the squares at the bottom. And with the front, they're, they're opposite. So I need to get those switched around. Let me work on fixing a mess up. I just want to say as a note, yes I am using a drill, but I do have the clutch set to where that's what the clicking sound you hear is, so it doesn't strip out. That's the clutch kicking in to not over tighten. So if you're going to use a drill, make sure that you're not using it at full torque. Full torque? I don't know. Thought I'd try. All right, so let's try our strategy again. Like this. Like that. This. Like this. And then this fits. Fenris, it's okay. Bada boom, bada bang, okay.
So according to the instructions, we should now set it up upright. And here, we can start to see what we're gonna have final product. Four feet by six feet. A shelf here and a shelf here. Seed starters and maybe room for one plant at the back or a skinny shelf at the back. We'll see. Okay, so the next piece is this number 20 something or other I swear 23 and this is the crown piece or ridge piece and it goes like this probably really loud in the microphone sorry not sorry and then it uses um, two of the longer bolts with nuts they go through like so Definitely seems like these are longer than they need to be. Which, when I see that, it makes me think I need to double check and make sure that this is where we use the two longer ones. Two number 41s. So I'm going to go back to the front to the components list and look 41 no no this one two number 44s 44 comes with two of them and a nut a m6 by 26 millimeters so those are the two the two long ones all right, so let's go ahead and tighten those down. I have a wrench here, trusty old 10 millimeter. <clears throat> to put on the nut. And then tighten down the ridge. Okay, easy enough. If I ask where the wrench is, it's over there. Let's see, back to the book. Where are we at? So we got the ridge part in. Oh. The window. <laughs> the window goes in before you secure it. It should like call out the window, I think. Because it slides. Oh gosh darn it. Where's that wrench? Here is the window, the little prop goes on the inside, and it just 
slides into the track. Put a bolt and nut back in the ridge. Okay, there we go. Ridge and window. Wrench back in the seat. Now let's see. Ridge window together. Two number 16s of side supports with two number 41s. And the 41s, the pack is labeled 41. These are these slide into the track on 16. So the, the head on the 41, bolt number 41, isn't a hex head. You can see, it's not a hex head. It's a head that slides into a track. So let's see. Number 16s. I want to confirm whether we want to slide these, slide the nuts in now or later. There's definitely some sharp heads. It looks like that these go in kind of sooner rather than later. So I'm going to get two nuts and two bolts and set them out of the sun they're a little hot and they I'll get closer they slide in like this I'm not going to completely snug these down because there's a bit of play that I think we're going to want when we're sliding in these outside panels. So I'm going to get two more nuts, two more bolts, and do the other side just the same. Well. 
Okay. Let's finalize that step. Two number 16s, four bolts, four nuts. Next step, four A panels uh, sliding in. These are the A panels. There are four of them. Remember the white opaque panel faces outward. Hmm. You can't just slide it in the track on this side. So I think it's gonna have to be slid in the middle track and then bent I, mean, I think that's just a great example of not uh, tightening everything down. Gives you that that wiggle room. Technical term, wiggle room. Maybe there's a better trick to this and I'm just not seeing it, but... If you figure out a better way, help out those who come after us. Post in the comments. Hi guys, what are you doing? Come on, you go on this side. Okay, I don't love it. I'm still gonna choose not to tighten down those because I think we'll get the opportunity to square everything up. Um, because right now it seems to be leaning to the rear. We'll get a chance to square it up and then tighten everything down. Plus I think we might, still might need that, that little bit of wiggle room. We will come back at the end and Tighten the screws and everything. Okay, next step. I think I'm gonna put the GoPro on so we can uh, see this a little closer because this next step has got um, five different parts, including bolts. And it has to do with being around the window. And I think an up close view of that uh, will be helpful. Let me run in and grab the GoPro. All the important stuff is stored right next to the beer fridge. If you're in Kansas City, Blip Roasters downtown, great coffee place. 
uh, motorcycle events on Sundays. All right, let's get the GoPro turned on. Excuse me. Recording. And mounted. All right. So, let's look at the instructions. A 17, an 18A, and a 24. A 17, an 18. It says an 18A. And a 24. It doesn't say 18A on the piece. This worries me. This is 17. This is 18. I don't see two 18s, so I'm assuming that 18A is a one time. So, 17 goes on the non-window side. And it also uses the 41 and a nut. The ones that slide into the tracks. I just mix all my screw bits together. No, nope. black ones over here. These ones are over here, so I need one, two, one, two. So, you can put this in. that on a little bit. Same thing here. Put this on a little bit. Slide that part in. And then <laughs> not be able to slide that part in. So that idea. You can do one side like that. This side you slide in. And drop it in. And go finger tight. Eighteen and twenty. Four. So 18 is going to go in similar, but it has this flange. That's what the window rests on, we assume. Get out. Another nut. Bolt. Looking right into the sun. It's always fun. I'm going to do this one first, this time. Oh, 
Well, is that something? I need to look at the other directions. Because that doesn't entirely make sense. 18A, and it shows the flange maybe on that side. This does not slide over anymore. So window up, sliding it in. Okay, so the window doesn't sit on the flange. It sits on the top. Whatever. Bit of a tight fit there. And wrist. Calm down. Okay, so if you can see, the situation is we need something to push that forward. Um, I wonder if we can use this. There we go. Ask where that. Philip says it's in my pocket. I'm going to finger tight that down. Still where we can move it. Same thing up here. Okay. Number 24. I'm going to go in here like so. And take two. Just the regular number 40 something or others. That does not line up at all. Let me get one sign in. See that? That doesn't even closely line up. <sighs> There's a trick of the mechanical world. And we'll see if it's going to work here. I don't recommend. But it's if you can get it started. Like that at all. I got the screw started, but oh, it's not allowing the the groove here to line up. I think I might need to go get a clamp to finish the forcing move. I'll be right back. So I got a cl a clamp. And a dead blow mallet, maybe. Maybe a little forcing will help. So I'll try to get in the GoPro here of what I'm gonna, what my plan is. I 
I'm afraid if I take the screw out, I won't be able to get it back in once it's clamped down. That's not working. Let's see if the hammer works. Sorry for the loud noise. We bent enough things, I think, that it might work. You know what? I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work. Go ahead and tighten that down. And then Uh-huh. Something is awry. I mean, that makes sense on how that works, right? But it's not allowing it to close. I mean, it should, that needs to be down like another quarter of an inch. Let me loosen. <clears throat> and see if, That's better, for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. Well, <clears throat> I know it's loud. It closes quite snugly. Which is good, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's something, I guess. We got something together. Okay, so we got all of these pieces together, and now we slide in two B pan three B panels, and a J. So I'm gonna start with the B panels. I believe it's these three that are left. Yep. This is the same situation as the side panels. We're able to slip it up through here, but not over here on this side. Again, do not love all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and take off these top films because it might be hard to get to the top once it's all assembled.
I do not love this bending and fitting process. If I haven't already stated that. Whoop. Okay. And then it doesn't I guess it has a bit of a track that it fits into up top. You can't really tell. So there's a bit of a, a ridge here that it fits down on top of. Okay. Ooh, this side's gonna be harder. I was able to reach my hand out on this side. I can't do it on this side. <laughs> Interesting. You know what, I think I might get use out of their stupid little wrench and use it as a... That ain't working either. I'm messing up the edge. Okay, I'm gonna try a different approach. I don't like that at all. We're gonna see if we can start it on the start it on the back side and then put it into the number 17 side. So I'm now seeing that if we would have done this piece with 17 being loose, put 17 on it and then slid in this part and then work on the front where we can put our hand out and flex it. I think that's, that's the ultimate way. Hindsight being what it is, that's why you're gonna watch this video, right? So put in panel, add 17, add this panel, and then work it with hands inside and outside. I think that here. Oh, I just have a little part right there. To work in the groove. Ugh. I really did not like that. Do not love. What is going on here? It seems to be 
jumping out of the out of the track here. Oh goodness. This plastic part is a bit bent in. I'm gonna try to push it out a little bit. There we go. In and out, in and out. Let's see if it'll there we are. Much smoother. Kinda sorta. There we go. Goodness. And we've made it up above that ledge now. <laughs> okay. So, another B panel. Goes over here. Hello, wind. Right before that little plastic seems to be pushed out a little bit. This side's gonna be easier because we can stick our hand out. Be able to flex it and get it in the track. piece letter letter J Yeah, okay. Run some more GoPro vid. Okay. Um, two number 31s. These are the little gutter pieces. <clears throat> one of the reasons why I kind of liked this uh, this greenhouse oh. 
was for these little gutter parts. I think they're both the same. <clears throat> they have these little downspout pieces. that affix on the end and uh, they use a couple of screws which ones are those 37s I have those over here through there so it's going to go through the plastic it's going to go through the plastic here and then thread into the aluminum channel and then there's a little guide piece here that goes into this other part of the channel this is definitely the situation where you don't want to overdo it with torque. I don't have the most confidence in that, but we'll see. It's an interesting concept. A little downspout. How cool. The other one on. <clears throat> Why are there 35 A's and B's? You got an A on one side. Okay. Oh, A's and B's. So different here. So let's look at that. So if it goes on like this, then an A goes on the back, so we're good. And a B goes on the front. They're subtly different. to breathe so I would certainly suggest if this you decide to pick helping, up this right? greenhouse I also have a plan of this. of how you're gonna weight it down Because it is very light. Okay, what are we doing here? I mean, it's a gutter, 
So logically, it tells me that it should be underneath the, uh, the plastic, right? Water runs down and then in. If it's on top, which is what it's really like looking at, then uh, water just goes underneath. I'm gonna see if I can get it under. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go under. Really in there. I could make it fit. I mean, honestly, it's not even really wanting to fit. Like this. Ooh, careful. Careful. Um, this, this is, this is not making a lot of sense. I mean, unfortunately. I mean, the, uh, the gutter idea is is wise, but it just ain't working. I'm, I really want this to be underneath here. When what's really stopping it is that. But I think if I loosen inside here, uh, we, might, we might be able to lift it up and then tighten it down. I'm gonna loosen that as much as I can without the nut coming off. So when I just went over to turn the camera off, it said that the card was full. So I switched out the cards. I'm, I don't know how much it got here, but I think I got it on the GoPro. What I'm gonna go do is go take an eighth of an inch off of each end of the gutter piece. And that'll allow it to fit up there like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna turn this camera off, I'm gonna leave the GoPro run, GoPro run, I'm gonna go into the miter saw, and I'm gonna show you cutting aluminum with a uh, miter saw. Okay, here we are. Back with our modified pieces. And that was a little loud. Let's see where we're at. Oh. Oh, I like it a lot. Let's put our gutter pieces back on. This to be a perfect piece, but you know, I do expect the pieces to fit. And they just, in the case of this, didn't fit. And the instructions show that this goes on top of here. And I don't know what planet that makes sense on, but it certainly doesn't make sense on this planet. It's slightly better. I probably could have taken a little bit more off because that screw in there still interferes. I was able to push it and this one goes in, but I don't think we'll be able to get it do the same on this side. No way. An option would be to cut a little notch in 33B here 
so that the screw rests in there. I might be able to do that still later. I'm not going to do it now. This is pretty, pretty good, but you can see that this comes up. I may actually see if I can 3D print a piece to cap here and force the water to go out just one side instead of front and back. So if I build that 3D printed model, I'll, I'll post it in the description if I, if I do that. We'll see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down. Because if this was capped and forced all the water to here, I bet you could find a piece of vinyl tubing that would fit over here and you could put five gallon bucket or something here to catch that water and then use it to water whatever you like. Maybe run the two together for one catchment. It's got a gutter. It's a, it's a little thing, but it was not very well, not w very well manufactured. We're going to put the I don't love it. I don't love that. We might 3D print a piece. Okay. Where'd the instructions go? I'm gonna assume that the pieces left are for the door. Here we go. Got all those pieces. And, uh, yep, we're gonna make a door. That's the last step. Oh, let's just get these unpackaged. These are 29 and 27. 29 is the bottom, 27 is the top. Oh. Twenty-eight is the middle. Bottom, middle, and top. This is the hinge part. Hinge faces down. Yep. Yeah. So that's going to go there. <clears throat> Here's the latch. This is gonna go here. Oh, I forgot my drill. So I don't know if it came through when I was talking about it before, but I'll say it again, just in case. This thing is extremely light, extremely light. A smallish puff of wind is going to send this <coughs> to my neighbor's yard. And as nice as they are, I don't know if they want a greenhouse. So, in your own planning, come up with a way, 
come up with an idea to weight it down. And I can make some suggestions. And then in the next video of greenhouse upgrades, which I'm going to do tomorrow, and there'll be the, ep the next episode after this one, I'll give you a, a close look of what I'm going to do. Some ideas though. You can use L brackets screwed into the side of the frame and then screwed into, in my case, a patio. Uh, you need a hammer drill and concrete anchors. Or if you're in a grassy area, you can hammer in acre stakes. Um, you could probably put in um, screw in anchors on either side, run a cable or a strap over the whole business. Um, those are options that you can that you can that you could choose. Mine is going to be slightly different. Slightly different, but not unique to some some other some other things that I've seen other YouTubers do. But I'm not going to tell you because I want you to come back and watch the other video. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It'll keep you from missing out on the wonderful, great content that we produce. Well, that doesn't work at all. So the screw on this side lines up, does not line up on this side. But why you ask? Did we do it this time? Ah, we're good that time. The panel wasn't seated all the way in that corner. And I guess this is the last one. The outside. Inside. Be careful. These things are pretty sharp on the corners. I got a, I got a boo-boo. Oh, a little static electricity too. Okay, over there. I think we have to go this route. I'm probably going to do an episode, short episode. There we go. Dedicated to reviewing this beast. But I'm not going to do it just yet. I have impressions now, sure, but uh, you know, I want to let it sit for a little while, let it grow on me, and then I'm going to give an honest pro and con what I think about it. I mean, I hate the assembly. We can, we can review that now. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't hate the assembly. I hate the instructions. The instructions are rubbish. They're close. They need like an extra 
and then they would be perfect. A little extra something. Okay. And then the door. Hinge pins. <laughs> Go together like that. And then the door. Wow. Look at that. The door closes. Hot dang. Let's start peeling off this stuff. I think that's it. GoPro's off. Probably ran out of batteries. Ugh. See if you're still playing. Cool. That is it. No pieces left over. I take that back. You do get Four extra sc screws, standard ones. First impressions. If you don't enjoy putting stuff together, find something else. This uh, was difficult. If you're looking for top quality, Look for something else. I forgot. Piece of film here. If you don't like putting stuff together, look someplace else. If you want top quality, look someplace else. If you want something cheaper that's not plastic sheeting, 
like a uh, a tube or a, a, a road tunnel, then this is a good choice. If you want something that just lasts a few years, you know, this is what we're looking for. I'm looking for it to fit. This corner of the patio. <clears throat> it's not super obtrusive. It has a vent, it has a door, it has gutters, and uh, it's probably gonna keep things fairly warm inside. So here we have it. A greenhouse assembled, the out sunny, four by six. I'll put a, a Amazon link down below uh, if you're interested in this. If you already have this, you can use this video as a little bit of an assembly uh, tutorial. We learned a few things along the way. We talked about them as we found them out. The directions are not the best, so hopefully uh, my visuals and my voice walkthrough helps a little bit. Not the easiest thing to put together, but we got it done. Uh, we probably did it in about three hours uh, end to end, maybe. Uh, we had to do some modifications for the gutters to fit on correctly, but that's okay. If you enjoy the channel, subscribe please. If you like this video, if it helped you assemble yours, or uh, if you just like seeing assembly videos, hit that like button. Uh, let's YouTube know that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. And stay tuned because as soon as I turn this camera off, I'm going to start upgrading the greenhouse. I have uh, several things that are going to make it just a little bit more premium. We're going to do uh, some temperature control. We're going to deal with how to secure it and a few other tidbits. So stay tuned. Come on back next time as we keep on working toward a better Terra.